Hi, and welcome to another video. Uh, in this video, I want to talk about how to hand pollinate your Atamoyas flowers. Uh, same concept can be applied toward uh, cherry moyas and sugar apples. So let's get right into it. Uh, first thing first, the flower. The Atamoyas flower comes with both male and female parts. However, they activate at different times. So when the flower first bloom, it is in the female stage. And this is the stage where you can pollinate it with pollen. And then after some time, it will transition into a male flower. And during this time, it is the pollen that are active. And then you can collect those pollens and to pollinate your other flowers. So let's take a look at an example of a male and a female flower. So here is a flower that is still in the female stage. So how do you know that this is a female flower? If you look at the tip of the petals, the three petals here, they are wide open. So you know that it has bloomed. But if you look at the top here where the ovary is at, it's still closed. Um, the petal hasn't opened yet up there. So, you, so that's how you know that this flower is a female flower. So for flowers, they usually bloom in the morning around 8 or 9 a.m. And that's when they become uh, female. And then later in the afternoon, around 5 or 6 p.m., then they transition over to become a male flower. And that's when you would be able to collect the pollen to pollinate the female flowers. So, so you may ask <laughs> if a flower transition over to the male, how <laughs> how are you going to pollinate? Well, you can't. <laughs> so if you, if you miss the chance to pollinate the female when it's in the female stage, then you know that's it. Your luck is out. Once it's once it transition over to the male flower, then you know the flower is no longer active to uh, to to be able to receive pollen and to be pollinated. And the only thing that you can do with that is the uh, use the pollen when it is in the male stage to pollinate the female flower. So let's go take a look at a male flower now. Okay, so here is an example of a male flower. So as you can see, the petals are wide open and you can actually see inside the flower at the top where the ovary is at. So this is how you know that this is a male flower and you can collect pollen from this male flower to pollinate the female flower. So you may ask, um, <laughs> if they bloom at different time, how do you uh, collect flower to pollinate? Well, uh, some flowers open in the morning to begin uh, as a female, and some open in the afternoon here to be a female. So this guy open in the afternoon, and this guy here uh, transition into a male in the afternoon. So you can take the pollen from this guy and pollinate this guy. Um, so usually this doesn't happen until um, later in the season, um, uh, around, you know, at the end of June, early July. Uh, for when the season is still early, um, they all tend to, uh, to bloom in the morning, of, um, female first and then male in the afternoon. Uh, but uh, later in the season, some flowers open, um, open to be a female in the afternoon and then uh, a male in the morning as well so um so that's how you are able to uh, align them and then pollinate them okay so let's uh let's uh talk about what i use to uh pollinate these guys these are the tools that i use to pollinate my atomoya flowers so you're gonna need a container of some sort a plate a cup or whatever is available to you to collect the pollen on. For me, this is just a Ninja Blender cap that I found laying around the house. Uh, so I have been using this for the past four years. <laughs> so it is black so that I can contrast the pollen so I can see them better. Um, the second piece of equipment is a brush. It has to be a small brush. The tip has to be small enough to fit into the Atomoyas flower to get to the ovary um, to pollinate it. So Let's go and pollinate some flowers now. Um, so I can directly collect the pollen when the flower is on the tree like this, or I can just take pick them and uh, bring them down to the ground here. 
Um, so that is what I'm going to do because this flower is a male and it wasn't pollinated. So it's, it's no good really. <laughs> so let's take this down and uh, show you guys what the pollen and how to collect the pollen. Okay, so here are two male flowers that I just picked off of the tree. So this, let's take a look inside here. So look at the flower. So the middle part here, that's where the ovary is at. That's where you would try to get the pollen to, to pollinate. And everything around it, you see all this uh, kind of uh, brush kind of thingy around it. That is the anthers and on top of the anthers are pollen. So you want to take your brush and then you want to sweep all of the, uh, the anthers off of the flower into your collection uh, plate or, or container or whatever you use. Mine is a, a ninja cap. So, okay, so let's collect the pollen. Okay, so that's one flower. I'm just going to throw it on the ground for now. Uh, this is the second one here. Same thing. Okay, so here is a flower with no uh, anthers, or well, some left, but no pollen left. So if you finish collecting it, so we can throw that away. So let's see if I can zoom this closely. So if we looked here, uh, let me see if I can point this. So these guys are the anthers. Um, they are still pollen on it. So if they get on your brush, that's fine. That's that's okay. You you kind of want them to be on your brush as well. You see all, but all the little specks, all those little dots right there, those are pollen. These are not pollen. Those little specks here, those are pollen. Um, so these are the anthers and those are the pollen. So what you want to do is you want to grab as much pollen as you can possibly get. All right. Onto your brush, you know, something like that. Okay. So you can see that on the brush, there are a ton of pollens on that. All right. So now let's go over to a female flower and pollinate it. Okay, so here is the female flower that we will pollinate. So with my brush uh, right here, I'm going to stick it up into the flower as deep as I can and I go around the, the ovary top. And then when I uh, leave the flower, I kind of squeeze the petal together, you know, to try to keep uh, the anthers in there and then release and then that's that flower is now pollinated and to to mark that this is this is now pollinated all i do is i just break a paddle break the tip of a paddle to let myself know that hey this flower is now pollinated so you will use you know the same pollen you collected and go around and pollinate all of your other flowers all right easy enough right all right so there you have it now you know how to pollinate your Aptomoyas flowers or cherimoyas or sugar apple. Um, so a couple of tips for those of you who may have just started. Um, when you first get started, your tree is going to be small and the number of flowers are going to be small as well. So it, it is going to be hard for you to align the male and the female together to get them pollinated. So there are a couple of things that you can do. One, you can store it the pollen in the fridge. They say that they, it is good for up to one week. However, with my personal experience, even after one day or one night, it still did not work for me. But it may be different for you. So that is something that you can try, but it is not guaranteed. A second tip is that if you're in the middle of the season and your tree is not, it's no longer producing flowers, what you can do is that you can, you know, prune the tip back on the new growth just a teeny bit so that new branches can come out from the leaf nodes and along with those new branches new flowers will come out just like the guava so i hope that this video helps you in growing and pollinating your atomoys or cherimoys or sugar apple and if you like the content please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with me and my trees thank you and have a good day